They had a great coach, great system. Um, Tuberkin did a great job of um, being patient against us, and she hit a lot of shots. Um, we really stretched, um, stretched trying to find her and tra transition her and um, Petroji. Petroji was in foul trouble, so we didn't really have to worry about Maddie. But we kept losing Tuberkin. She's got a uh, methodical pace for her where she doesn't. She um she doesn't fully rush, so it's kind of it's kind of like a dope combo of you know Diaz is super fast, and then Tuberkin is more laid back in her game. It's kind of like you know a good mix, similar to Kylie and Nika. Um, and they just uh, we had them early, and we we let them ease back in and get confidence. And once they got confidence, they started hitting big shots. And um, we got some turnovers. We got we we got them to turn the ball over. It was a couple times when we had a chance to take the game back. And we wouldn't convert, you know. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm proud of my kids. I'm proud of how we fought adversity this year. I, the only reason why I'm disappointed is because I just, I wanted, I wanted them to have this championship. But I, I don't. I, they're winners to me. They're winners. I just wish. I just want. I'm hurting because they, they, they deserve this. You know, they deserve this. But hats off to Hudsonville. You know. You know, it hurts, man. I'm, I'm hurt for them. I'll get a chance to try again. They don't. So that, that that's why it hurts for me. Coach, is there anything different in the fourth quarter about your press? Did you pick it up a little more, or did they just not handle it as well? Um, I mean, I mean, when you um, – wasn't much different. I think the only different thing was, like I said, with the press, eventually starts to get to you, and it eventually started to get to them. I just think that we had a few chances after we turned them over or we got them to take a kind of a rushed shot that would lead to a rebound that would turn into a fast break. We weren't able to convert like we were able to convert Wednesday. And I think that's the biggest difference. And then we missed, how many free throws did we miss? 12. 12. You know, and it's something that we've, I've talked about all year. You know, I played for Greg Campy, you know, and, I, and I'm not going to give him credit for this quote because I'm sure he stole it from somebody, but it's too two things in this world that don't last. Dogs that chase cars, the teams that don't make free throws. You know, and we didn't make free throws, so we didn't last. You know, and we got away with it on Wednesday against um, Wayne Memorial, and um, God said you're not gonna get away with it twice, so. You, know, you guys battled to the end, and how much do you think your, the spirit of your team takes on the personnel of your coach, where you're just intense all the time and, and just don't quit, and you're always in it? Um. I think it's just him believing in us and like it that he's like we said it during the game, he told us to never give up and even when we was down with only twenty something seconds left, he told us that we was gonna win this game. So he just believes us believes in us all the time and I know we fell short today but I mean I wouldn't rather go with all the coach and I love you. By the way, I want to say I love you. Anything else? Thank you. Thanks, folks. Thanks.